An emotional plea from a family today over a gruesome discovery made in the murky waters of the Jordan River. A body. Tonight, police are calling the death a homicide as the man's family seeks answers from the public. New specialist Andrew Adams is live with this story. Andrew, what do we know? Well, the family is just purely devastated. They say this guy was well-loved, not the kind to have enemies. They just don't know how or why this happened. You okay? I know, I know. <laughs> it had been more than a month since the bad news. All right. And the emotions were still close to the surface. It's like, I don't understand it. Well, I don't understand why anybody would do something like that. Joseph Salas' body had been found in the Jordan River, and there were just no answers. I seen him walk down the Jordan River trailway, and that was the last time I seen him. He was just a good man. He didn't deserve what happened to him. Heather Ramos just learned today that her husband had been murdered. Police said trauma to his body pointed to a homicide. He had such a good soul inside him. That's why it's so hard to understand why this could even happen. Loved ones remember Salas as a family man. Everybody goes out there and they don't catch a fish. A guy with a good soul and a big heart. I mean, there's nothing bad you could say about him. Nothing, nothing bad you could say about him. I, I, I just can't look in my little grandson's eyes and know that he's hurting and I don't have an answer for him. Family members now desperately want those answers. We need answers. I need answers for my children. I need answers for my grandchildren. I need answers for his family. They hope someone will come forward in time. I, I believe somebody knows something, and if they could just please, please call and, and, and help us find out what happened to him. To be clear, police did not specify exactly how the man died, but they say that there was trauma to the body and they were able to determine that it was a homicide. Police and the family definitely want those answers. If anybody has information, they're asked to call Salt Lake City Police Department at 801-799-3000. Back to you. Yeah, such a difficult update to that story. Thanks, Andrew.